Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello everyone, let me introduce myself I'm Syahrazad Zalmanedia and Nidaul Aulia Putri from SRS Robotic Team MTS Kemongunan UIA in Jakarta Apart from participating in the Wonderful Indonesia Robot Challenge or WIRC we also participated in several robotics competition both at national and international levels including Madrasa Robotic Competition or MRC, Asian Robot Competition or ARC, International Youth Robot Competition in South Korea, International Islamic School Robot Olympiad in Japan, Asia Red Robot Olympiad in Singapore, and Asian Robot Challenge in Malaysia. At the wonderful Indonesia Robot Challenge 2023, which was held at Jatim Park 3, our team participated in the automatic sumo robot category. Next, we will explain the components used in the automatic sumo robot. The first one is DC motor. DC motor is a machine that functions to convert electrical power into motions, where the power of the machine is in the form of motor rotation. Second one is line sensor. Line sensor is a type of sensor that detects black or white lines using an LED as a transmitter and a photodiode as a reservoir. The third one is proximity sensor. The proximity sensor is used to detect the presence of the enemy. We use the sharp 10 AT sensor. The third one is Arduino. Arduino is the brain of the robot or program storage in the robot. The use of Arduino is more flexible because Arduino is open source, making it easier to apply in building a robot. Next, there is a 50A motor driver. The motor driver functions to control the speed of the DC motor that will be used to build a sumo robot. Because the robot will easily get off the track when the speed of the motor is not regulated. The sixth one is step up. Step up is a component to increase the voltage to the motor driver. And the last one is Ubuk. Ubuk is a decrease in voltage from 12 volt to 5 volts for supply to Arduino and sensors. After preparing all the main components and designing the hardware system, we will explain a little about how the automatic sumo robot works. By using the three sensor on the front of the robot, the robot can detect where the obstacle is. If the sensor located to the left detects an obstacle, the robot will move to the left. Likewise, if the sensor located to the right of the robot detects an obstacle, the robot will move to the right. If an obstacle is on the right or left, the robot is detected. The robot will move not too fast to approach the obstacle. But if the robot detects that the obstacle in front of the robot, the three sensor detects an obstacle, the robot will move quickly and then push it out of the area. If the opposite robot is on the right or on the left, then it's a robot only below it, not attack. The opposite robot will be attacked when the opponent's robot is right in front of the robot. If the robot is attacked from the right, the robot will move avoid moving forward and to the right. Meanwhile, if the robot is attacked from the left, the robot will also move away from the opponent's attack by moving forward then to the left. However, if the robot is attacked from behind, the robot will move forward and then the robot will rotate. If the robot is attacked by the opposing robot from the back, left and right, the robot will avoid by moving away from the opponent's robot. If the robot detects a line, the robot will move as far as possible so that the robot does not leave the arena. This light sensor serves as the top priority of the other sensors. If other sensors detect an obstacle, the robot will move to avoid it. But if 
other sensor detects an obstacle and at the same time the line sensor detects a line, the robot is ordered to avoid the line first because the most important position is to survive on the arena. That's how the automatic zoom robot briefly works. The challenge phase in the automatic zoom robot category is to keep all components and sensors in the robot prime and functioning properly because the movement of the robot is determined by a prime sensor. The more sensitive the sensor we have, both line sensor and proximity sensor, the greater the potential to win. The strategy we use to win is to maximize the work of the sensor to find target, attack, and defend. Because in sumo robots, what is very important is a good movement technique in the robot. Then the most important thing is how the robot can survive when attacked and attack the opponent. Alhamdulillah, with the strategy we use, our robot was able to face the preliminary round which will follow the final round in December 2020. That's all from me. Thank you. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.